Well, working together, the balance of the Senate has shifted and the Democrats no longer have a 60 vote majority. This weekend, we're hearing from Wisconsin's top elected officials for the first time since the power shift. Mike Lowe reports. Mike, thank you. Well, you try to make good choices with your money, but how do you know you're doing the right thing? Tonight, Contact 6. It's still a new year, and that means time to review your financial past, present, and plan for the future. Contact 6 went to a financial advisor to find out what you can do to plan well. Anytime is a good time to review your financial situation and start saving and planning. And now, at the beginning of the year, is the best time because the earlier you start, the easier it is to make changes throughout the year. Meet with your CPA or make an appointment with a financial advisor. Maybe just what your finances need. So not bad. Whether you wanted him to go to Miami or not, whether he plays again or not, you, you got to admit, I don't think anybody has played that position with more guts than Brett. Absolutely. Thought he was out of the game. Ankle injury hurt so much. In fact, he was beaten. He was battered and now devastated. Brett Favre came back for a chance to win a second Super Bowl. Instead, he'll be haunted by one play for the rest of his life. Highlights and Brett's reaction from New Orleans coming up. Let's face it, you're either ecstatic that Favre and the Vikings are not going to the Super Bowl or you're devastated for number four. The Packers legend Brett Favre came to the New Orleans Superdome, site of his only Super Bowl victory, determined to get the arch-rival Vikings to Miami in Super Bowl 44. He competed courageously, but with the chance of the Lombardi Trophy so close, Brett made one of those boneheaded plays that cost the Vikings, Green Bay's arch-rival, a shot at that trophy. Turnovers doomed the Saints' guess. Six fumbles, three lost, five turnovers, total of three charged number four this one seemed to belong to Adrian Peterson could have put Minnesota up 21 14 at the break and Brett was charged with it he obviously not happy Favre made some typically fantastic throws Bernard Berrien another red zone turnover talk about shooting yourselves in the foot yet it was tied at 28 and time winding down a regulation complete this pass and ex Packers kicker Ryan Longwell gets a shot to win intercepted shades of the 2007 title game at Lambeau versus the Giants but in overtime OT tonight 23 year old Garrett Hartley who is this guy well Saints fans will love him forever 40 yards and it'll be good in light of Hurricane Katrina the Saints used to be the Aints bring New Orleans its first and only Super Bowl in the 43 year history of the franchise as for Brett you know I don't I don't even know where to begin you know all I can say is it's been a great year sure I hope we would have gone a little bit further Great group of guys. Um, just, uh, you know, just disappointing. Well, Brett said, by the way, tonight he isn't sure if he's coming back, and that's for sure. When Beloit native Jim Caldwell decided on keeping his starters healthy as opposed to shooting for an unbeaten season, the rookie head coach was lambasted by Colts Nation after leading Indy to the Super Bowl. Everybody has to love him. Fellow first-year Jets head coach Rex Ryan had his players believe in they could punch their ticket to Miami. The rest of the country might have thought the same after the Cinderella Jets jumped out 17-6. Rookie Mark Sanchez, 80 yards. Braylon Edwards, touchdown. But Peyton Manning and company score the final 24 points of the game. One of his three touchdown passes went to Pierre Garçon, the former Mount Union star who actually played against UW-Whitewater, 2017 host. The reigning and four-time league MVP sewed up a berth in the Super Bowl with his 15-yard toss to number 44 and Super Bowl 44, Dallas Clark. 30-17, let's hear from Manning. You know, I kind of believe at this point, you're not really a rookie anymore like Austin is. And, you know, Pierre really felt like this was his rookie season. I think he had one catch last year. So, um, but after this many games, you, you become a veteran. And we certainly had some issues, and they uh, they took advantage of it. Peyton doesn't need a whole lot. And uh, we did make some mistakes. You know, obviously had some communication errors. And, uh, you know, when you do that against him, you, you can forget about it. Manning Favre not going to happen. The Saints have been a super gift from heaven for the city of New Orleans. We're left to wonder if Brett Favre consecutive start number 309 was the last of his incomparable career. Let's good use. Good for her. Good for those volunteers. Yeah. What a day. Fox 6 wake up 430 Monday morning.